A rare topic that very few people ever consider is the abuse of men. The abuse of men is something that women do do to men. There can be psychological abuse of men, emotional abuse of men, intimate abuse of men, and frankly, gaslighting abuse of men. What I'm talking about in those areas, we won't talk about physical abuse other than the immature acts of people who harm them. When I'm talking about abuse of men, I am talking about those women who are predators, who like to play into towns to see if they can reproduce their life after loss, of which they, of course, have every right to do. But as a part of their evaluations and as a part of their assessments, they're looking for someone who can help them. And that is also on me and you because we should be open and kind to people who are in struggle. But what can happen over the course of time is that a woman can be total come totally reliant and dependent on someone who is loyal to her needs and totally understands her goals and expects nothing more than she will utilize his services in some way, whether they're paid or unpaid, whether it's volunteer time or in compensated time, to help her predicament. The challenge that, of course, happens in any situation between a woman and a man or any people who have similar preferences and similar likes and dislikes and similar personalities and similar communication styles and just regular, in general, similarities of family backgrounds is that there can be a relationship that starts to form. That friendship that started in business becomes really strong. That person, that woman calls him all the time. Because whenever she has a tough time with her family, she calls him and he says, hey, you're going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay.